Hello YouTubers. This video is going to serve as an introduction to my next video, which is going to be a, an interview with a lady. Her name is June Griffin. And um, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to take all this time in the interview video, so I may refer back to this one maybe, um, just if people are curious why I was interviewing her. <laughs> um, one of the things about me is I like interesting people, and I like documenting interesting people. I don't know, I have several videos um, where I've interviewed people, and uh, I, I guess I need to start a playlist just called people interviews. But anyway, uh, June is a very in interesting person to me. And it kind of goes back to my theory. Uh, one of the things I'm interested in is, you know, how societies evolve and especially ours, uh, the United States, you know, our country. Um, because, you know, like we old timers, when we... <laughs> When we tell our kids, you know, there used to be a time when, when we could play outside and that's all we did and you didn't have to come home until the street lights came on and, you know, all that kind of stuff. They go, oh, you're just an old timer. But really, those, those times are true. They're not, there's not, they're not stories that we made up. You know, societies, I mean, you know, neighborhoods were a lot safer um, well, it depends on, you know, excluding all the obvious places in our country that have always been sort of violent. But I know in our town, uh, you know, we, you know, we, we're reeling right now because we've had 100 murders already, 100 shootings, I should say shootings, this year. And, uh, you know, that just was unheard of when I was a kid. Uh, so, I guess, trying to get back to my point, um, one of my theories is, is that, and no matter what you believe in as far as religion, uh, I feel that, um, you know, religious values have always helped societies um, maintain, you know, and I'm going to catch all kinds of crap for this, and that's why I'm doing it in this video. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of my interview video, but um, you know, no matter, like I said, no matter how, you don't have to be religious to understand that um, when when religious values were taught to kids, which they are not anymore. Uh, that's just the way it appears to me, because I get so much vitriol from you know millennials. It, it appears that. They, they are just being left to their own devices, uh, which is fine. That's, that's part of my study on how societies evolve. <laughs> but you can't deny that societies, you know, go through an evolution. At some point, they have a beginning and a, you know, and a, a, a middle, which is typically their, you know, when they are thriving. And then they have an end. And there's a reason they end. And so to deny those reasons is just a sort of lunacy, you know, lunacy. It's, it's you know. So as, as, as I'm trying to study, you know, our society and when it could end or when it might end and why it will end, I, I just feel like that there are no... Uh, the values that uh, were held true, dear, you know, dear and true uh, to the people who founded our country. Um, and I'm not talking about necessarily whose God is right. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about values, principles, okay? Um, the value of human life, just the basic that one basic principle, just the value of human life, has just taken a dump, you know, with with a lot of people in our society. <clears throat> and uh, so, anyway, 
you're like, what does that got to do with June Griffin? Well, she is one, she's an old timer. I don't mean old timer, I, I don't, I'm not criticizing her, but she is one of the people that I'm interested in uh, getting, you know, documenting her, her values. Her, and, and most people are going to say, oh, she's too conservative. You know, she's a right winger and all that. And I don't care because, you know, it took, it takes a few sort of extreme people uh, to, you know, to sort of, uh, if, if some of their values wear off on other people, you know, those that wear off aren't going to be as, as uh, strong as the ones that particular person holds. But it's still, they still benefit society. And that works both ways. It works, it works on the negative side, too. So anyway, um, I'm going to go interview June. She's, to me, an interesting person. I hope I can get that in the interview. I hope I can get that sense of, uh, that, uh, that I'm trying to get to in the interview. And uh, we'll see. If, the, if this kind of stuff doesn't interest you like it interests me, then you'll know to stay away from my next video. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, thanks guys. I'm almost there. I'm going to Dayton, Tennessee. That's where she lives. So, I will talk to you later.